So this video, I will walk you through the installation and configuration of OpenLDAP server, which we are using for centralized authentication. So take one of the server and install all OpenLDAP packages. So I am using yum install OpenLDAP start so that it will install all the OpenLDAP components. So once it's installed, then we will go ahead and start the service. We can use the systemctl command and then start slap d. Then next we will enable the service so that whenever the system reboot, the service will be up and running. So we will create some password in encrypted form by using slap password command. We will be using this generated password in our configuration. So note down this password which generated by the slap password command and we will save that into a notepad file and we will be using this when we do the configuration changes. Then we'll go to this directory where LDAP is storing all the configuration files and here you can see a lot of files with extension .ldif. So we are going to edit mainly this monitor and hdb.ld files. So we can have a look at these con contents and mainly we are going to edit these two contents and uh, we are going to add password also. We can edit this by file but however it's always recommended not to edit this file directly use ldap modify command. For that I am creating a file and adding the contents like this and copy that password that we have created and add it here. So basically we are changing these three parameters. Then use ldap modify command and use this db.ldif as input file. So once you can see it has made these changes and successfully completed. So now we will go to this directory and verify these changes are updated. So open this hdb.ldif file and see the contents are updated here. So that means so this OLC suffix root dn and root pwd pw are updated to this file. So next we will have to edit this monitor ld file and we will see the content here and here we have to change this OLC access by default the name is something else we have to change that according to our domain. So here we are using hadoop.com that is dc equal to hadoop and dc equal to com. So here also we use this ldap modify command to make these changes. It's always recommended to use ldap modify to make any changes in this file. I'm going to create another file monitor.ldif and add these contents. And here I can see that cn equal to ldap adm dc equal to hadoop and dc equal to com that is my domain name and i use ldap modify command and iphone y external iphone h ldap i colon slash slash iphone f monitor dot ldif so next we will copy some sample db config file from this location so slash user share open ldap servers db underscore config dot example to slash var lib ldap directory as the file name db underscore config so once you copied this file so change the ownership to ldap and also the group name to ldap and slash var ldap slash var lib ldap star so i'm changing the ownership and the uh, group membership of this directory then i'll add ldap add and add some schemas cosine and uh, some other schemas which are available under this location etc open ldap then schema then cosine dot ldif just enter this will add the schema to this uh, our LDAP. Then next NIS. Just enter and then uh, 
go ahead and add inet org person dot ldiff so these three schemas i added to my ldiff database so once that is done we will create a base ldiff file with these entries and uh, so we will add these lines into base.ldiff file so first is the domain dc equal to hadoop and dc equal to com and we have ldap adm user so that is ldap manager and we have a organization unit called people and group i am going to add this into my ldap database using ldap add command and use these flags and uh, then iphone f base.ldiff just go ahead and enter then it will uh, prompt to type the ldap admin password type the password that we have set you can see these four entries are added to our ldap database so now we can go ahead and do an ldap search basically we do ldap search and uh, uh, by using this username as ldap adm and this domain dc equal to hadoop and dc equal to com and iphone app w it prompt for the password and the base where we want to start the search so i'm i just added dc equal to hadoop and dc equal to com that means it will do the search at the top level object class equal to star means it will search everything so we can do filter at object class level and now it's listing the complete content inside that ldap database you can see the entries that we have added so that's it this concludes the installation and configuration of open ldap server